In the previous video, we set both the voltage and the gas. I'm getting three liters per minute at the at the gun. So, and we've set the voltage to the maximum because I'm going to be welding one eight inch or three millimeter uh, angle iron. Now, when we have the wear speed is the, is is what is all we have to adjust now and to get that right. Now, if the wear speed is too slow, you get a hissing sound. It'll hiss. First of all, there'll be no speed at all, nothing happen. and then it'll walk into a hiss. That's when you get the continuation of the whir, but it's not quite fast enough. What you want to get is that sound of sizzling, that sound of sizzling bacon. That's the sound that you want, and it's slightly more than the hissing sound. Now, you can adjust it by pulling the trigger on and, and doing the welding, and adjusting this in small increments by coming back to this and adjusting this in small increments till you get it where you want it. Or, as I'm going to do it now, I'm going to adjust it as I'm actually pulling the trigger on the gun and I'll bring it up through the hissing so you should hear the hissing first and then I'll bring it up into the um, the sizzling sound where you actually want it and that's the sound that welding should be done at. That's when the voltage and the ambitch are coming together. Okay, now you could hear that coming up to the force of the sizzling, and as I turned a little bit more, you could hear that crackling sound. That's the sound that you want. That's where the amperage and the voltage are coming together. And as you can, you wouldn't, you'd get a, a banging noise if there wasn't enough shielding gas on it. So you know by the sound of it that that's all working perfect. So now I'm going to weld two pieces, these two pieces of um, waste angle iron here together, and um, we'll get a look at the weld and see what that's like.
As you can see, there's the weld. There's nothing wrong with the scrans. Nice and clean. Doesn't need any cleaning actually.